What I really want you to know is. 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 I really am everything all the time. Hey kid, never stop running. Break me a dream that's coming on. I seriously think this is okay for a wedding. I like it. Since when are we into God? I refuse to look this femme ever. And what? Are we going to the beach? <sighs> I got a minister to open up a church. You have five minutes. We don't want to disappoint you. <sighs> oh, kids. <laughs> you still only have five minutes. I need ten. Okay, uh, everybody, we have to get ready for the wedding. Yeah! I want you all to know that getting married doesn't mean that Bailey owns us. I am never going to let anyone own us ever again. We belong to each other. I'm not going anywhere without my fucking leather jacket. Um, would you consider wearing the boots instead? You mean the boots that make us taller than Bailey? Fuck yeah. Uh, I want to wear my Snoopy socks. Okay. Uh, they're, they're here somewhere. I got it. Yay! Snoopy socks. Yay! I'm ready. So, would y'all like to say some vowels or should I just pronounce you? Vows. Pronounce. I promise to love and accept you just as you are. Every single one of you. And if we run into trouble, I promise to go to couples therapy at least four times. I love you. And I promise that right now, I am just trying to keep the teenagers from turning all of us into Julia Roberts in Runaway Bride. I do. I do. And the teenagers want me to tell you that if we run, it's going to look a lot more like Neo in the Matrix than fucking Julia Roberts. I now pronounce you... Husband and partner and partner. Partner and partner. Have to keep the gender fluid pansexual happy. Look at a lecture on third wave feminism. Good luck with that. Rings? So, how many people did I just marry? A lot! Oh, two! <laughs> 
Where do you want to go for takeout on our wedding day? And hey, if you folks want to do couples therapy, I'll be in my office. Roberts! We go there all the time. I know. You like it. I don't want it on my wedding day. I want a steak. I hate me. You don't have to eat it. You just have to watch me eat it. I love you, but I am not going to sit and watch you eat cow. I mean, what is next? Shots of tequila? <laughs> that was a low blow. Sorry. And I can eat steak anytime. You don't get to tell me what to eat. Bailey. Until the teenagers. Neo doesn't scare me. Bailey, remember when we talked about dysfunctional conversations? Dare, remember when you said you didn't want to be my therapist? Remember when you said you didn't need me to? I don't! You do! And if you're going to turn into a child, at least use an appropriate voice so I have fair warning. Ugh. This is my voice. Take it or leave it. Fucking God. What? You're more scared than I am. How can you be out if you don't know who you really are? Before I came out, I was the best girl I could be. I told a girl I liked her in sixth grade. Seventh. She told everyone, no more popular. I got death threats. No one spoke to me. My mother taught me I better pass. I better recant if I wanted to survive. It was on social media everywhere. The school had to make them take it down. I had my first breakdown. In the military, when they learned I had an appointment for top surgery, they committed me. I wanted to die. It's all hold on one more day. Coming out was like butter. My mom said she knew. I didn't come out. My father turned the camcorder on me when I was texting my high school girlfriend and saw the text. My sister's sort of gay. Don't ask, don't tell. My sister read books about gender. She never made a pronoun mistake. I slept with a married woman. My mother's best friend. <laughs> she was my first. I stuck out to a queer youth group. Yeah? I thought I recognized you. I said I was at cheerleading. When I came back from college to speak, you were there. Yeah, you had rainbow streaked hair, and you were just about to take tea. <laughs> yeah, uh, things change. I took tea because of you. Because you said to do what you want. You helped me so much. Well, um, go for a drink somewhere. Do you like kids? What is it? Melanie's on the roof. What for? I can't explain everything to you right now, okay? Melanie? Melanie, look at me. I was gonna call my therapist, but it turns out you slept with her. I don't know your therapist's name. Dare. She's a freak. No, it was, it was 10 years ago with my dead name. Nothing happened. Well, you did get suspended from that group for a month. Melanie, Melanie. Melanie, call me! Why would I call you? You're right here. Instead of your therapist? I like talking to Dare. I'm sorry. I didn't know. It was so bad. It could be worse. No! You, you can't give me away if you're dead! You can't be my best woman! I... I didn't know which one you liked, so I, I didn't say anything, but... I mean, Sophia started panicking and... 
We basically broke up anyway, so like... I figure I'll have to dive. I should have picked someplace higher. I didn't think this through. Melanie, look at me. Your best woman? I realize it's a selfish reason. I know, and that's bad. But you know what? I realized that mom was the right mom for me because I had you. Thanks a lot. I didn't have me and, and I... You still don't. Yeah. You can have me. I mean, like, not only I have you, but you have me. I think there is something wrong with me, Z. I know. I know. I think it's a thing Mom was so worried about. Manic depression. Yeah. They'll be here in less than a minute. Melody! Is she okay? Kissing pleasure slowly never hold me when you need it love me forever and I Hi, I'm MJ. I play Xander and assign female at birth. Hi, I'm Tina D'Elia and I play Sophia. I'm Amelia Lumpkin and I play Diamond. Hi, I'm Lyra Lynn Kay and I play Dare and I am the creator of Assigned Female at Birth. Assigned Female at Birth is a web series that explores the outlier and intersectional identities of people who are assigned female at birth. That includes proud queer identities, as well as transphobia and homophobia. Racism in the lives of Black women, Black trans men, and queer POC. As well as feminist issues such as sexual assault, family violence, self-harm, and suicide. We also realize that these issues are present in all of our lives. And cause us all anger and pain. They can make us feel isolated and hopeless. So we want you to know you're not alone. Talk to somebody. Ask for help. Because it really does get better. And we have made this series as a way of saying we are with you. And we have your back. <laughs>